Before you perform any maintenance to your Empower 40 volt cordless upright, remove the battery. Unzip the bag case to check the filter bag. It needs to be replaced when debris reaches the maximum fill line. Pull this collar down to release the bag dock. Gently pull the cardboard collar out to seal the bag. Remove it from the bag dock and throw it away. Now slide a new bag firmly into the dock until the hook catches the collar. Rotate the bag dock up and press firmly until it snaps into place. Then zip up the outer bag. To clean hair and debris from the brush roll, first remove the two black screws. Lift off the wiper blade and lift the metal guards to access the brush roll channel. Use scissors to cut across the channel to easily remove debris and obstructions. To re-secure the wiper blade, lay down the metal guards. Place the front edge of the wiper blade on first, then tilt it back and re-secure with the screws. To remove and replace the brush roll, use a T20 Torx screwdriver to remove the seven screws that secure the base plate to the vacuum. Take off the base plate, then remove both the brush roll and the belt. On the new brush roll, rotate the plastic black end caps to show the word normal facing up. Make sure both end caps have the same setting face up before inserting it into the power head nozzle. Slide the belt back into place then manually spin the brush roll to ensure it turns freely before putting the cover back on and securing it with the seven screws. If the vacuum turns off automatically while you're cleaning, you could have a clog. Turn it off and back on to reset it. If it shuts off again, check for an obstruction. Check the bag and the brush roll first. If you don't find any clogs, detach these rubber straps from the bag case. Remove the screws and tilt the battery dock forward. Twist this connector counterclockwise. Pull out the tube and check both parts for a clog. Remove any obstructions you find. Slide the tube back into place and twist the connector clockwise to secure. Tilt the battery dock back and secure it with the screws. Finally, slide the straps back into place. And that's it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.